howdy, howdy, everybody. Your boy is back. And because I don't own a guy, this game on the cartridge because I'm broke, and for some reason, I took me forever to, uh, to record this. But uh, hopefully my audience can read. Uh, today, yeah, today, today I'm going to play this game. Uh, we are going to play Paper Mario because I need my yip, 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 yahoo guy. And I guess some people wanted this. Wait a minute. My wife was on the cover. I didn't notice. Anyway, we're just going to get into the game. Yeah, that was my last fail. Mixed with gay. No, I don't want uh, mono. So, we're just gonna get into this, obviously. I am your uh, guest here, Mr. Meta. Can I ask for my whole name? Yes, I can, but I'm not gonna do that, because F you. There we go. I got my waifu. We're gonna do this right now. Is is this gonna get censored? Probably. <laughs> Ah, that guy sucks. Uh -huh. Hey Mario, you got the letter from the Princess of Peach. Yeah, okay. I, I know my audience can read, uh, so they can do the reading. I'll do the side commentary because that's what I'm here for. All right, what's the letter say? Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, that, that's a flat-out lie. There's not gonna be any kind of goddamn entertainment. Well, actually, there is gonna be entertainment, but, uh, that gets referenced at the very end of the game. Yeah, I, I don't care. Surely, if you want a more professional opinion on uh, Paper Mario, I am not the guy to go to, to when it comes to this game. Because I, I beat it again, uh, I think I want to say one or two weeks ago. It, it was fun, and then I decided that, you know, some people wanted me to replay this, so I thought, why not? It'd be fun, I guess. But then again, people like to see me uh, put to myself. So, here I am today. Luigi, you've been here before. Alright, so... Uh, I can do two things. I can go rush into the plot, but that's boring. So we're gonna go over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can I can do the super flippy spin jump at the beginning. Okay, I didn't know that. No, Grandma. Wait, wait a minute! How'd you escape? The many, many things of this game that nobody will ever bother to explain to me. How did Grandma escape? The, 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 oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. How do you get out of here? Huh? Okay. So, th that's something else. I, I need to see people to explain to me later. That's alright. Uh, you're fine. That's the other girl I was looking for. I'm about to talk to her. I guess, uh, okay, some of the women here do like, uh, Mario's outfit. Then these guys, I think these guys, yeah, these guys actually stay here later. No, I am I the biggest Paper Mario fan? No. <laughs> You'll all find out later, but I just want to do some foreshadowing here, because why not? To the new people who don't have the time for Paper Mario because you have better things to do in your life and you want some white noise, here I am. I don't know why all these toads have spears, considering what they tell us later, but whatever. People like to pretend they're useful. Mm -hmm. Oh! I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna guess I have her private chambers then. 
Princess Peach. Or as I should say, Toadstool. Because I'm a goddamn boomer in disguise. There you are, Toadstool. Mm -hmm. This party is boring! I say it's boring because half the people decided to ditch you. You're not even important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure, let's go outside. Ah, oh, no! Ah! Oh no, the plot! What chips? Ah, no! Yes. Flying castle. Obviously. Uh -huh. Do you not know what Twilight is, woman? Well, I can't really blame Bowser. Uh, I, I, can talk, I was talking about Bowser when I get to him. Actually, we're about to get to him right now. Yep. Now you all be me! Let's it go! Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Nah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so uh, obviously, for people who don't know anything about Mario RPG history, Peach is useless in this game. Go figure. Um, but in Paper Mario RPG, the very first enemy you do fight is Bowser, so this is a very cute reference. I think Bowser only has like 10 HP or something in this, but it's not a winnable fight, so I'm gonna keep talking over it. But in that battle, you need to fight Bowser. He's the first enemy you fight, you beat him, and then the game kind of progresses because Bowser's castle gets stolen. Which is very cute because now he's stealing Peach's castle in this game. Now, is that important for this game? Not really. But it's your fun fact for the day. It's just Paper Mario RPG 1 in reverse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah! Ah! No! Without that, the fairly off hands can't do the thing. All right. Ah! I can't do anything except attack you, so that's what I'm gonna do. Ma Mamma mia! Ah, yeah, so, uh, it's not an wonderful fight. Not much I can really say here. Uh, Bowser's got the geek alone. So whenever it has, I'm just gonna call him the Gay, uh, Gay Bowser, because I love Mario 64, obviously, like every boomer. Oh no! I mean, we're playing this game from a second time, I, I just, I know when you push the A you can uh, deduct damage, and I did that so perfectly in the final battle. Oh yeah, Bowser's the final boss. <laughs> Yeah, well, Mario's gone. Which, I mean, theoretically speaking, if Mario did one, Bowser's army is still, you know, just under the doorstep. So either way, I don't think Mario would have been able to take- LUIGI DOES THE TWO! All the characters in this game are- What? Why is so goddamn useless? Paper Mario! Now, is there context for the Star Rod? Yes. Is it very good? No. A plea from the stars. Yeah, the stars are kind of dickheads.
So, you guys know that scene from Sonic OVA where Sonic just wakes up in the grass and literally has no purpose for the- MY GIRL! I only like one of the seven stars here. We'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. But I, I kind of plan to finish the whole prologue in one go. Because it's it's not very bad, but at the same time, it gives... For the five people who don't know anything about this game, yeah, yeah you can read. Meanwhile, my emulator will lag. Yeah, the whole Star Rod plot, again, I, I, I don't... It, it, it seems very important, but in the final battle, the whole Star Rod thing kind of doesn't really make sense. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, um... That star over there on the side, the one with the glasses, interesting plot hole, but when we get to it, we'll get to it. Uh, but for now, mm, it's not very important. <laughs> Mom, there's a hobo outside! You look like Mario, the genocidal maniac! God damn it, Italy, we had enough of you. Shit! Oh, what am I gonna do? First thing you should do is, yeah, just, just leave the body. That's what decay is for. God damn it, let me sleep. Mm-hmm. Now, people may be wondering, am I going to be using a lot of the badges in everything in this game? Uh, if this is like, like my last playthrough, no. I'm going to just play the game how I, I, I'm going to play it, I'm sorry. I know there's more professional players and speedrunners who could do better things than me, but uh, no, I'm going to do things how I want to do it, yeah. <laughs> Here's Toad. Yeah, so Mario's been in a coma because Bell's just whooped him that bad. Mm. Mario, what are the Goombas are one of your fanboys? I think you should go talk to him. Mm. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, out of everything I play in this game, this the beginning part is what stumps me the most. And I, I know the law of RPGs, the beginning sucks, usually, but I had no idea what to do. So, can I talk to them? Probably. I, I don't really have anything against the Goombas in this game, so I will spend probably too much time with them. I know you're my biggest fan. It's in your goddamn name! Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So, uh, we're gonna go see Grandpappy. No, you're Grandmommy! Grandpappy is back here. Yeah, here's Grandpappy. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm a- I'M A MARIO! Yep. Uh, yeah, Grandpa. Give me the hammer! Oh god, I gotta do all this goddamn block things. Uh-huh. I'll go talk to your goddamn grandson. Actually, if I, do, if I did do any side quests, I'll be doing them with Gumbario. Um, right, this part right here. Last time I played, uh, I didn't know what these were until the very end of the game. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, alright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wanna leave right now. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Ah! 
No! It's Grandma! But, but the porn of Cabin Koopa is kind of weird. It's not bad, per se, and that kind of makes me worried. But I, I guess she has her fans. But it's Grandma! And I can't really be talking bad about Grandmas, because I'm going to run into a Grandma later. Yeah, I had to trigger the scene. I kind of forgot. But again, this is one that stuck me the most when, uh, when I replayed this. Uh, well, uh, is she a Koopa? Apparently, not even the Goopas know, so... Her name is Cammy Koopa. I don't see a shell on her back, so I guess she's just a Koopa in me. Because the Goombas don't recognize her. I sure as hell don't know what the hell she is. She doesn't take off the goddamn rope. Yeah, alright, let's go get the hammer. Alright, Grandpa! Hey, Grandma, what's up? Let's go back here. And Grandpa is gone! And that is gone. Yeah, that doesn't actually happen if you don't come here first, which is uh, kind of weird. I kind of showed off what happened. I wasn't untouchable. <sighs> this game doesn't really abuse the paper jokes as much as other games do. Grandpa! Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mario. I'll go find your hammer. Actually, my, my favorite thing about this game is how herky-dorky the soundtrack is. I can't use that without the hammer yet, but yeah. This soundtrack is, is very herky-dorky. It's unbelievable, and I love it for it. <laughs> you can use it for memes anywhere. Okay. Alright, old man. Let's find your hammer. Oh, money! We're looking for your, for your hammer, we find money. That's why I love the older generation. They ask for one thing, you get another. And I don't remember exactly what bush it's in. There we go. Yay! Alright. Okay, uh, Grandpa. Let's go break down. Let's, let's go smash some noobs. God damn it. Right, these are save spots. Why am I saving now? Because, uh, why not? I don't so many goddamn coins in that one. But, uh, this part's good stage design. I, I could be... Right. Super speedy gay attack! Let's go! I think we're actually coming up. Yeah, we are. So, um, I don't like this guy. Uh, Master Junior Trooper. He's not that bad, but goddamn, he's annoying. Uh, boss of the Neighborhood Gang. Yeah, uh, for the Neighborhood Gang, his neighborhood's pretty bigger than the game would like you to believe. And I can guarantee you this, this is not gonna be the last time we face this guy. I don't remember how much HP he has in the beginning. It is like 4 to 5, but it's not very much, but... God damn it! I'm so... Oh, I hate replaying games when I have all the good shit. Can I jump on his head? Probably. Which I'm probably not gonna do. Nah, I should probably show it off at least. Not the best enemy to show that off with. I don't want to take damage. I want my... I want my boom to be gone. Mario, keep it up. You have a spell. Full power! I don't, yeah, I don't, I barely remember this first stage. Oh, no! Two damage! But two is more than one! Hmm. 
Yeah, so am I going to be grinding? Probably not. Because in the beginning, as you guys seen there, I, I beat the game on like level 24, 25. And I'm probably going to beat the game with around the same thing. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be showing gr all my grinding matches. I probably will, because I got a lot to say about this game. When we get to the points. And because it's not like... If there's any dead air, I'll just auto-cut to when I'm saying something. Not for this one, though. Because then you'll miss context. Because there's a lot of context, apparently. Three. Yay! Drugs! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's it go! Uh. Super gay spin! Yeah, I can't break that yet. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I actually broke that one in my other playthroughs. Here we go. Alright. See, Grandpa's nice. He, he lets me know what's up. Here we go! Let's go! If I gotta suffer seizures, you guys do too. You guys who can't say I'm not a caring host. Oh, I won! No, no, no! Okay. Uh, uh. No! I hit the ground! I meant to hit his forehead. Yeah. Uh. Grandpa tells you what to do. Die! And since I can't effing defend myself, I have to take all these with nothing stopping me. Alright, here we go. I think I think if I'm actually gonna edit out battles, I'm just gonna edit out all the ones where I don't get AEXP or backtracking. Again, unless like there's like dead air. But seizure! Right, okay, so I can't hear things airborne with my hammer, which is good to know, but I I, I don't care. I wanna just, I wanna kill the dude. He dead. No! Here we go. Yay! Here we go. This soundtrack is hokey dokey believe. Yeah! I need to come up with lyrics for that thing later down the line. It'll be a work in progress for the Let's Play. I think that's what I'll just call it. Okay. Yeah, we made it back. There is, I believe there's another way to get up here, and that's through the, uh, spring in the back, but I'll backtrack here in a second to show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. See, Grandpa's alive, the boomer knows what's up, and the little girl- the, the little girl's kind of freaky, but I'm happy she doesn't come along, because she's like, Mario, I- I- I love you, I- I need- I need your taint on my face. And Gambario, he's just a fanboy, but you know what, yeah. I could tell a lot of stuff about Gambario and, uh, and, and my boy when we get to him, and I kind of was disheartened when I found out more details, and I was sad. Uh, but I'll get to it when I get to it. Alright, let's see what's going on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Rap. Yeah. Okay, I, I know the Mario rap thing didn't come out maybe three or four late years after this game, and I don't want to Google check that right now. I think I will. Mar, give me something. Oh yeah, the power jump. I did. I barely used that in my last play, so I don't think I'm gonna use it a lot either. I mean, if I do, it'll probably be against one very specific boss because I hate the goddamn desert. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. Yeah. No, wait, no! That's not- no! <laughs> oh, this is what I get for not reading the thing! Yeah, yeah, that's a badge. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, and that's how you use badges. For the- for the people who are wondering, Hey, how do I use badges? Uh, if you're using this as white noise, uh, it won't matter to you. If you're watching this playthrough, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll show you examples later. <laughs> But yeah, I, I barely use the power jump. Well, you can join me.
Yeah, you gotta copy me, because Luigi effing ditched me and- Actually, no! Nobody bothered to look for me! I fell in the goddamn forest and this little girl who has- Who probably doesn't know what basic mathematics is, decides to find Mario! What did Luigi do? Well, I'm gonna go back to my effing s and dungeon. Hey, Luigi sucks! Yeah, he gets the head ball. So, this guy's attack is essentially attack people with his damn forehead, which is great, because I guess Goombas don't suffer brain damage. Uh huh. Yeah, so if you want to restore health, you can go inside the Toad House and uh, get, get the suck. But we're going to backtrack here because um, I'm going to do a few things. Yeah, I want to show this off first. So this is where she found Mario, which was literally to the left of the house. Wait, Toad sucks too! Did nobody leave this goddamn tent? Toad's have weird, weird fetish. Cause Toad would be like, I'm here, I'm here for the uh, hotel management staff. I want to do all that. So I, I'm gonna show off the Toad stuff later. I could do that right now, but I, I don't want to. We're gonna backtrack here for a bit. Because I saw a star piece and I want that star piece. And I think I can get EXP right now. Ah! No! Are you kidding? <laughs> get away from me! Don't make me use my gay spin! Ah! Let's go! Ah! Hey Mario! Yeah, uh, switch out, uh, switch out my partners. I really won't be doing that much because that's not fun. Alright, so this is what he does. Uh-huh. 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 Alright, cool. So, Goomba suck dick, that's, a uh, canon. Well, I mean, obviously. <laughs> now, by the power jump, I could actually one-up all these enemies, but that's not fun. Now, let me get my goddamn star piece. I know exactly where I saw it. Yay! And for my last playthrough, uh, no. Every star piece I actually had, I never used. So this is what I was talking about earlier. I don't think I broke that one, actually. Here we go. Fire Flower! Uh, that's not gonna be useful for a while. And... HP. So, that's gonna be nice. Yay! You're dead! Oh! Gombario, slay him! Not coming up the lyrics. Now, if I wanted to grind, I think I might. I think I might as well because I have to fight uh, a stupid mini boss soon, so I might as well just fight everybody who comes my way. Yay! You're dead. Well, Gombario can't kill him, so it's up to you, Mario. Slay him where he stands. I never forgot them stuff once. Alright, so, that's done. Wait, no! No! <sighs> Let's go! Ooh. Paper Mario's fun, guys. It's just the greatest game of her. Well, this is getting boring. I got 40 EXP. Uh, give me. Ooh. Yeah, and they're gonna continue to suffer with me because of goddamn seizures. And now I wish I had the power jump, because now I'm going to have to take damage. Wait, no, I have drugs! And I have lost one HP. Yeah! Whoa! Oh, yeah, uh... Since I actually, since I actually have them, I might as well talk about Gumbario here. So, his ability is to tattle, and tattle works on just about every enemy in the game. I don't think there's one enemy who it doesn't work on. Uh, and Goombario, in my opinion, is better than uh, Goombella in every way, shape, and form. Especially after the Thousand Year Door uh, thingamajiki that came out. So, uh, a few. Now we can go to Toad Town and face off against probably the, the most annoying mini boss and boss, in my opinion. There we go. Uh, no, na, na, no, na, na, no. Alright. That's very clever. Now, this one won't actually come out unless we do this. And then we fight. 
Uh, I should really just speedrun these battles, so I might actually use the bad cheer real quick. Like, emphasis on might. That doesn't mean I will. Well, at this point I really don't have a choice. Goomba boy again. Now we gotta kill up another Goomba. I don't- I miss multi-bomb! Oh! There we go. Hooray, we can almost level up. More drugs! First strike! Uh, should I? No, uh... Cause I- I don't get to level up my teammates until midway through the game. That, by that point, it's just like way bother. But for now, it's kind of just if -E. I got my Goombas, they got their sharp teeth. And, uh, cause they're vampires apparently, and Goombario's the only one the person got the teeth in the Mushroom Kingdom. So he has normal people teeth. Which, I, I guess, wouldn't that make him a freak of nature in the Goomba culture? Cause he has normal teeth. I mean, the hat I can live with, Goombas kind of have weird apparel. If you look at the other games, like Paper Mario 4. That game is great, but probably not for the reasons a lot of people want to talk about. Speaking of, uh, no, not Paper Mario 4, uh, Mario Party 4, because he's a goddamn casino dude. Ugh, this is taking forever. I'm saving the Fire Flower for the boss. I keep people kind of figuring that out. Uh, just go. Here it is, go. Good Mario is the best Mario lookout. You took damage, God! I saw Dick got the it is uh, again. Yeah, Mario is the best. Come on, yeah! I need more star points. I just want to get to level one. I think I actually am level one. I didn't pay attention. All right. Uh, let's go. Paper Mario look at this herky turkey. Actually, I need to use Tattle. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the guy first. Because uh, I could do the tattle later, but uh, I can show off the diversity of the tattle here. Because even if the enemy is mildly different, you need to figure out their information. Because they might have different stats. Like with the fly guys and the spiked retards, I kind of have to play my product uh, very distinctly. I hate those goddamn things in the beginning. Spiked Goombas, that's what they're called. They're basically the same as Goombas, but you can't jump on them like Grandpa told us. But thankfully, I can just hit him with a hammer. Five star points. Yeah, no, there's not really much I can offer socially in this game so far. I mean, I can talk about the Toad Village. Oh, look, a badge! Oh, actually, that's the badge I was whining about. So, let me uh, apply that badge. Because, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't use this badge until, like, maybe until the desert. Or near the end of the desert. And I was like, oh, that's very helpful. This thing won't come out unless I hit this thing. There we go. Yay! Drugs! Eh. Oh, I didn't think that I didn't think that would land. But I guess it did. Here we go! And I'll actually be able to tell what this badge does, because that means the enemies will uh, most likely miss. But this badge is a helpful come endgame. <laughs> Like that. No! Good. Decap. Take off your wings, birdie. Now you gotta go. And my partner here will uh, start to castrate you guys with your lives. Uh, and there's a lot of variety to the enemies. The Goombas, the, specifically the effing. The special ed Goombas. And the later chapter are the ones I hate the most. Right now, they're just like, eh, they're introduction villains, so they're not a problem. But goddamn, those green ones are gonna be a big problem when we get to them. I don't... I don't think I'll be able to censor myself when I get to them. <laughs> Alright, here we go. First mini-boss. And I probably should've took my drugs before I did this, but I don't think this can be that much of a problem. I got two pairs of drugs, and I haven't saved in a while. First mini-boss is the Goomba Bros. Um... I think I fight them twice. I don't remember. Now, I'm gonna do the Metroid 1 thing that I used to do as a kid and not document any of these guys. No, I took drugs! No! 
No, I don't have close call on. I'm not dying yet. Maybe in two more turns I'll be able to actually not die. Alright, uh, I can use Tattle now. Because if I have to fight, yeah, I think that's how I use that again. Nope, I use Tattle too, sir. Great, now I'm gonna get I'm gonna get monkey slapped. <laughs> Mamma mia! I should have used the other badge, actually. I don't think I have enough BP for that other badge. Uh, but whatever. I can worry about that later. Oh! Miss! You didn't miss! Attack! Yay! Uh, no, I'm not. I got the power of hammer on my side. Die! Miss! You did- What's the point? I think I can take two more. I didn't keep track. Oh! Yeah! Alright, tattle him. I think he has a similar amount of health. No, he has one more. Okay. Then I didn't tattle him too soon. I spoke too soon! Die! Time for drugs. Let's -a go. Now I'll be able to beat this guy. <laughs> yeah, there's not really much I can say about these, these two. They're, they're just the Goomba Bros. I had to fight them again, I think, in the next battle anyway. Or the next big battle, I should say. Because the last big battle was Bowser. And this is just a mini boss. Oh, we're showing the first. We're showing the prologue! <laughs> So, I, yeah, you can tell all the enemies in this game, and unlike those in your door, there's not really much of a reward for it, as far as I can tell. So, it's not exactly a big deal. It's just like, well, if I'm, if I'm trying to get a beat this game, I might as well know what I'm up against. But dear god, does it get very helpful in the end. But, uh, I can't really... I'll be honest, because even in my battle with Bowser, I don't think I ever used Tattle. Uh, I only used one person when I was with Mario facing Bowser, and I only had like two items specifically for that battle. So, I'm not gonna act like it's a big deal. It's really not. More drugs! No, I was deceived! Fake drugs! I gotta kill the chestnut people! That's the entire point of Mario, isn't it? <laughs> oh! Bring it on, chestnut man! Ooh! More! Mamma mia! Oh, I got to level up! Uh... Actually, no. Uh, no, on my last playthrough, I think I leveled up on my last playthrough. Literally after the first boss of this chapter. Yep, now I know exactly what's ahead. The Koopa Castle. Oh, the orchestra hits! I didn't realize I was listening to Sonic CD. They're kind of adorable in a weird, freaky way. Yeah, they're not bad. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna do my best not to apply as much uh, logic in this run like I did on my last run. Because when I applied logic, I ended up missing a lot of dialogue. <laughs> Uh, you know, um... Yeah, there's, I, there is kind of a lot. There's a lot I have to say about the Goomba King, but literally nothing has to do with, with this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mario, let's mess him up! <laughs> I literally don't remember this song at all. That's true. Uh... Die! There we go. 
Yeah, I didn't do that last time, so I was kind of surprised when I actually got hit. Alright, so, uh, here's the Goomba King. The, I, I think this is actually his debut game. I could be wrong, someone could correct me. But, the thing with the Goomba King is that I remember him mostly from Mario Kart DS for being a dickhead. And I wanted nothing to do with him. Right, I was gonna use that originally, but I think I could just beat him without using that. But it, Mar he was super weird because in the other in the other games in Mario Kart DS he was kind of annoying and I really didn't like dealing with him. Uh, Mario Kart, no, Super Mario 64 DS. I remember you have to beat him in order to unlock Mario. I thought that was a really weird Easter egg, but I mean it is what it is. It's not exactly a problem. And people are probably like, you could use the fire flower to do this. Well, yeah, I don't want to use the fire flower. <laughs> do it, do it, I do it. So, here he's not that much of a problem, but I know in other games he's kind of a consistent threat. Uh, or in most cases, just an annoyance. And he's gone. Yeah, so that's all I gotta say about the Goomba King. You don't see him again ever again. We're done with that. There we go. Alright. So I'm gonna go back and apply logic here for a second. Because this is what I did last time. <laughs> yeah, I, I pushed the button. I didn't know this because I forgot what to do. But on my last playthrough, again, I used too much logic, so I just ran to the bush without context and I hit the button. And then this happened. And I really didn't know what to do. And it's kind of weird because I think this is actually the easiest fortress in the entire game. Because, yeah, no, duh. It's not even a fortress. It's just there. There goes the Goomba King. Uh, why are the Goomba Bros? Well, I think they died. Really in there? I mean, if there's something in there, I don't know. I should I could probably check. Uh, Super Gay Spin! Let's go! Let it rip! And I believe we're coming to the end of the prologue. Yeah, there's Cammy. Again, I don't know why people. The, the, the port of her is weird. <laughs> uh, save and continue. Meanwhile, back in the, my favorite reference in Super Mario Mar Kart Super Circuit, I keep saying Super Mario. It was yep, yep, go! Uh, and now I think we're coming up to the very first Peach segment, and I hate these goddamn things because they take so long and they have nothing to do with the plot. I would edit these out, but I actually have a lot of negative things to say about Peach here. Uh, okay. That, that's very interesting. So, according to Cammy, uh, she does answer his question that, that, that Mario can never, be, can never beat it, obviously. But I picked up on the fact that Cammy kind of doubles down on the possibility that uh, only Bowser can stop, really stop Mario. So, co congratulations, Cammy. You literally just said that uh, this plan will fail. <laughs> uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, all those uh, people are very incompetent. Uh, I'm gonna say that. Oh, 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 oh yeah! All right, uh, we're gonna cut. We're gonna. It's the boys. Yeah, boy, boy. Oh man, I love Super Smash Bros. But no, uh, arguably the most memorable thing about this whole goddamn game is are those four. Which is weird because I don't think Bowser even picked these guys. Because he's like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Where do you come from? I didn't ask for the Ninja Turtles.
We'll defeat him with the power of teamwork. Yeah, I don't know, dude. That sounds pretty gay. Okay, uh, this is actually, it's really weird, and I don't want to spoil the game for anybody new, well, I kind of said I would, but for veterans of the game, it's really weird here is that the Cooper Bros sell themselves off as being very, very important, I mean, in the end of the game, it has my favorite joke, but it's weird because the other bosses don't leave this kind of impression. I think there's one exception to the rule when we actually get to them, but the villains kind of build them up, it, it, here, uh, the villains are building themselves up, it, it, it bugs me a lot. Uh, by the way, my Koopa Post. Uh huh. <laughs> Actually, very funny here, because that one line in this scene gonna be very ironic when we get to the ghost uh chapter. But for now, uh, so, now you know who we gotta face off against first. The Teenage Mutant I'm Gonna Die Brothers. Uh, or as I like to say, copyright infringement. But whatever. Uh, Sleepy Sheep. My last playthrough, I barely use this because it never worked in every single time I needed it. And all the times I needed it was during a boss battle. <laughs> Alright, we're coming up to... Ooh, hold on a second. There we go. Coming up to Toad Town. But first... Hell! Oh! Okay! That's where that was! Oh! <laughs> okay, because so last playthrough I had no idea what anybody was talking about when they said get the hammer throw, and I'm like, where's that? <laughs> it's weird because nobody ever bothered telling you where it was when I asked that. But I wanted to tell me everything else, and they didn't tell me about the booty scene. Yup, this is Toe Town. Princess is kidnapped. Yep. Uh, whatever. She, she, she's a dumb hoe. I don't care. Are we gonna go see Luigi? No. I'm not gonna get any items right now either. Uh, right. The dojo. We're gonna get to them later. Because there's technically two bosses in this game. Uh, before the final boss. That's actually stronger than Bowser. The guy in there is one of them. Um, here's Duplis and Chan. I mean, I know. Chan is kind of a joke to everybody, but come on. Chan's best friend, Cheyenne, made Cyrus valuable again. So, we're gonna talk about Chan later, because Chan does Chan stuff. And then here's the three sisters. We saw them in the castle. They also did- We did Bowser just let selected people go? Because I- These three were in the castle. I was looking for the maids because I like their side quest, and I love their banter. But goddamn. These people do not give a damn about the princess. This is the bulletin board. Uh, you come here whenever you want to figure out what's going on. Very important for a later chapter, because I had no idea where the hell the goddamn toy box is. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Toad, what do you want? I can't believe the prince. I can! The Mushroom Kingdom's defenses are incompetent. I'll get mad at that later. Because, oh god, the, the, the eighth chapter just... Oh! Oh! Now here's the Shooting Star Summit, which is going to be very ironic later. I'm going to go see my waifu later. Actually, we're going to go see one of my waifus right now. Because we're not going to see her again until the end of the game. Because I prefer her sister. She's uh, a little more bangable in my opinion. But this one, she's alright. So, um... Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be empty until the end of the game. I'm sorry. Let's go up here. Na, 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 na. Here you are! This guy also gonna be very important for the end of the game. But right now, no. You need more star pieces. And this this, this family is weird because I'm pretty I'm pretty sure the brother of, of these two, um, her and the one upstairs. I'm pretty sure she has a thing for toad women. I don't have anything to back that up, but uh, when we get to there, we get there. Yeah. So we're not gonna deal with her right now. Again, we're not gonna come back here until the end of the game. So if you like the shooting star summit song, well, <laughs> enjoy it now.
Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm thinking of a mod, yeah, okay, so I saw a mod before this, and it's a mod where you can buy a master for the third time, except you Super Saiyan 3, and I was thinking of actually playing that mod, I was like, yeah, now I'm good, I, <laughs> I'm not taking 27 damage on this first goddamn turn, are you crazy? Alright, here's this old man, I don't really have anything against the star, because he, he's not the worst of them. Yup, here's the five of the seven star spirits. Uh, the only one that matters, we only begin- OH! When we get to her chapter! The other day. Uh-huh. Alright, so, I'm gonna let the, the viewers at home read this part. If you can't read, I'll just- I'll give you my interpretation of the whole situation, because, uh, these stars are ungrateful. Alright, I actually hate this star the most. I know I said it earlier, but uh, goddamn. <laughs> oh, ghost, ghost chapter. We'll get there. Uh huh. My girl! Ah! Ah! My girl! Mario, you can't defeat- you can't defeat Bowser yet. I think Mario can beat Bowser, that's the entire reason why he got the Star Rod. Dickhead. Yeah, I'm gonna spoil this part because it irritated me in the final battle. All these guys do is they neutralize uh, Bowser's invincibility, which is pretty cool, but when we get to Epping, uh, I'm gonna call him the gay right now, but when we get to the gay, um, it's gonna be really weird. It kind of validates the Peach story. Well, no, not really. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think this is where we start chapter one. I don't know. We're just gonna see. God damn it! I should have quit! I hate this part of the game! I absolutely loathe every scene I have to play with this goddamn dumb bimbo! People like her! She sucks! No, Peach! Not everyone is in prison! There's some people like Luigi who bailed! Luigi C. Bowser comes and says, Nah, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm not in this game. And then there's the three Toad sisters who also ditched you. And the effing penguins who will show up later in the game. Nobody likes you, Peach! People need to figure that out! It's my boy! And Cammy. Actually, it's, it's fairly interesting that she says that, because I can think of two scenarios of how Mario can get up there, e even without the stupid ride, but uh, I'll save those for later. But, uh, yeah. The subjects miss Peach, but the other ones really don't give a damn. Princess Peach is gone! I think they effectively know how to run their own goddamn kingdom without her at this point. That's something else about this game that always bugged me, is they treat this as like a tragedy, but the kingdom- but the Mushroom Kingdom is still 
functioning fully fine. With or without Peach, I think the problems that we're going to talk about later in the Mushroom Kingdom would still happen regardless of the story. Oh, here he comes! Here he comes! So before I continue, I want to say that I personally think- I, I call this song the, uh, the embodiment of disappointment. So for the sake of testing YouTube, I'm not gonna call Twink but the name I actually called on my, on my last playthrough. So, I'm gonna call him Gay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Actually, this is gonna be a Daily Motion, but I wanna actually, because I know YouTube is still more popular, but I want this to be on Daily Motion too. But uh, on my first playthrough, I called him Faggot. <laughs> but uh, for now, I'm gonna call him uh, Gay. The gay? Yeah, and he's useless. Like, seriously, uh... It, uh can you get me out of here, you know? The one thing that needs to happen so this plot can stop? Yeah, I can't do that, Peach. Is Mario the only useful person in my life? Apparently important. Apparently so, because everybody else who's actually useful in this goddamn game wants nothing to do with you. I don't care about your pity party, gay! Oh, hey gay, can you go find Mario? I forgot, what the hell does that do? I don't whatever. Yeah, so, okay, so let's get this straight here. Uh, so, the stars can grant wishes. Her one wish is to not be there. And he's like, yeah, no, I'm good. Well, I, I can help you find your plumber, though. What the hell kind of star is this? I know he's a novice. And right now, I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. But later down the line, when we get to a very specific chapter, that's when he starts getting useless. But for now, he's okay. And then at the end of the game, he's very useful. I'm like, dude, uh, stop. Mario, where are you? Well, Mario is somewhere else. Alright, and that's the last of the Shooting Star Valley until the end of the game. <laughs> no, I am not coming back here. Ah! God damn it, game! Also, this implies Bowser's Castle has never left the goddamn airspace. Did nobody ever bother to look up? I'm gay, Princess Peach has... Where did you shove that? What? Uh, no. Don't explain it to me. I said no! I, I, I listen, I, I, I ignored the boomer. I think I can handle not listening to you. God damn it, why does it convenient as bliss? I just want to get to chapter one. I've been recording for almost an hour. I got other things to do, like make porn. Alright, here's Kamek. He actually won't be annoying until the end of the game, but for now he's just there. Uh, no. Can't have to be annoying because I have to keep tattling every single one of them. Because gotta camp out all the colors in the rainbow! So thank you, Kumbario. Ow! Oh! Kill him! God damn it. Actually, I kind of forgot. I think that's uh, whatever. Woo! Yeah! Why does it feel so good to use again? Oh! Oh! 
There we go. And there goes Kamek. We'll meet him in a few more chapters. Let's go. Wow, Mario, you just murdered that guy. I don't know why Peach loves you, you sociopath. I'm gonna return to the princess. I think she's just associated with a murderer, and you just use the term pl uh, pl uh, plumber to save yourself. Goddamn genocidal maniac. Oh, Mario, I almost forgot. There's a message for Peach. I'm alright. Yeah, we kind of figured that. Maybe if Mario actually looks up, she'll be, you'll be able to see the goddamn castle. So, Gambario, uh, you doing anything cool? There you go. Uh, <laughs> I actually like the fact that they're just like, it's Bowser's castle now. Can we go back to doing our lives? The princess kind of sucks, Mario. Do we really gotta save her? Uh, oh, she signed. Oh, okay, she pays your rent. All right, I see why you gotta do this. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so let's go see Merlin. I actually need to do this part. He's not gonna charge us the first time. Uh, f you. Oh, seizure. Yeah, if I gotta suffer, you guys are gonna suffer with me. Let's do this together. This is actually partially why we're not gonna go see Merlin a lot, because his thing keeps making my feet glitch out like crazy. I only came to him maybe two or three times in my last night because I was effing stuck and I didn't know where the hell to go for the goddamn uh, town chaos thing. Again, I like that chapter, so I don't want to spoil it. Mm -hmm. Here's Filler. Mario, wake up! God damn it, you're like half the fan base. I give you the whole story, and you only pick up the dumb parts. Yeah, I think we all know that. Like, you don't need to be a wizard to know where that, that that's what he has to do. Mm -hmm. Go east. All right, so I could go in here. This guy, you. This guy sucks. We'll talk about more about him later. But for now, we're gonna. Uh, not gonna lie, this part kind of stumped me for a bit because I was like, wait a minute, black toads don't exist. And then another, uh, then something happens later. And one more thing before we actually move on, the, this part right here. Ah, oh, we're gonna talk to her real quick because this is actually important. I want to show this off now before we get to chapter one. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, goddamn. Uh, what I didn't know is that you. Th what she tells you about the flowers, it's mandatory. And if you don't do it when she brings it up, you need to backtrack through all throughout all of the goddamn sagas. And I don't want to do that because I hate going through the goddamn boo thing to find the goddamn flower there. But, that's for later. I mean, this toad isn't right. It is dangerous. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. So, uh, don't go talk to Merlin, which, which translates to go talk to Merlin. So we're gonna go talk to Merlin. Which is a very cute reference. Uh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> what do you mean that they're- what do you mean that they proved me wrong? Mario, what are you talking about? And these are actually shamans. They first appeared in, I think, Mario RPG. And then they got redesigned in, uh, soup No, they keep getting redesigned. I don't know, Nintendo's kind of flaky without their one wizard, so look. I told you, you can't pass. Take it off. Hmm. <laughs> you aren't even toads! I just love this song. It, it's so good on the ears. It's so, so, so good. I gotta fix that DC, because I know DC's gonna happen on the cutting room floor. 
Black, yellow, green, we retreat now! Go, go, Power Rangers! Right? Yeah, yeah, uh, you gotta go meet the Blue Shield. I kind of forgot he tells you what, par uh, what party members you're gonna get in the future, but I never really effing talked to him. I think that that's the only time in uh, I've ever remember him doing that, because I know he does tell you more about other incoming par party members, but for now, it's just like, why bother? Now, am I gonna rest? Do I really need to rest? Yeah, so I'm gonna go inside this motel room and jerk off. Hey, Mario! You wanted to get some sleep? Yeah, yeah, yes I do! I'm going to take a nap. So Mario's gonna go into this be bed and hope he doesn't bust another Goombario, his fanboy. Uh, no, that's, uh, that's Homelander who does the awkward bust a nut thing. CHAPTER ONE! HERE WE GO! Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. And, uh, not gonna lie, this is probably the most hyped chapter out of all of them. On a personal level, well, we got four more goddamn chapters, and here's Mario's theme. Yeah, I just, uh, I, I prefer the white noise if I like the song. Alright, so here's chapter one. This is where we're gonna end our part one, because goddamn, there's a Koopa. I'm not gonna fight him until the next part! So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back, uh, and we're gonna save. But, oh boy, chapter one is where a lot of hype hot comes, comes in. I think it's gonna be two hours, I'm gonna be real here. But, knowing me and my luck, probably not. So, if you wanna stick around, uh, I hope to see you there. If not, uh, go find another YouTuber who's playing this game, or a daily motion player or someone who's playing this game. I don't know. There's more than just me who's playing it, there's always variety. So, if you wanna continue watching me play this, uh, you can, or you like my white noise of me torturing myself and giving you weird screeches because of my opinion. I look forward to seeing you again. Otherwise, have a good day.